recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate the opportunity. And, um, you know, I'm going to just uh, power through these because I've got a few questions. Uh, uh, Secretary, throughout my district and across the nation, nursing homes are already struggling to maintain current staffing levels and have have an even more difficult time finding new staff members to fill vacancies. And I know there was some discussion about nursing homes, but uh, President Biden's additional staff ratios requirements on top of the ongoing workforce shortages would greatly reduce the number of patients served in facilities. Secretary, do you agree that long-term care facilities are facing labor shortages? Congresswoman, there's without a doubt uh, that the whole health care system is facing shortages. And I agree with that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Secretary. And could the president's new staffing ratios force nursing homes to reduce the number of patients they can serve or worse, even close their doors entirely? Uh, here's where we probably diverge because I would say the most important thing about any nursing home facility is that they offer quality care. And if you can't offer quality care, maybe you shouldn't have your doors open. And that's why we want to make sure that if you're open, first and foremost, you care about the people that you're serving, which means you have to have the, the level of service that's required but Mr. for Secretary, the people that are needed. Is, is staffing ratios the only uh, level, is the only measurement of care? Oh, no, of no. Quality of care? No, there are many okay. measures. So that, uh, so. Um, but yes. staffing ratios, but staffing levels But potentially make a difference. you could close nursing homes, I think, is what you had said. By they themselves, could. they shouldn't be the reason you close. If well, you if have they the can't correct get number enough, of staff. And, and uh, Mr. Secretary, if they can't get enough nurses or nursing staff. What if they don't provide enough nurses? Is that good? Uh, that's not the issue here. Okay, yes, because it, it's ratios, and you're going to increase those and make it already more difficult, uh, for, uh, difficult to get nursing nurses. And I think you agreed with that. Talk to any nurses and they'll tell you, you can't have them do everything for everyone. They need, you need to have enough nurses in a facility. Nurses and CNAs right. and LPNs, nursing Absolutely. staff. And Absolutely. Um, you, you know, though, uh, Mr. Secretary, if I don't, I don't know who you're talking to, but I do think maybe you should talk to some of the rural folks that are struggling to keep nursing homes open um, under the already tight ratios and, and provide people care close to their families and close to their homes. And um, so, but I, I, I've got to Congress move on. Congresswoman, I assure you, we've been I'm, talking to uh, folks in rural America about this. Um, Secretary, the Hyde Amendment uh, protects taxpayers by her prohibiting taxpayer funding of abortion. Um, and as you well know, this language, this vital language, has been included in appropriations bills every time since 1977 with strong bipartisan support. Does the President's budget request include the Hyde Amendment language? The president's budget does everything possible to make sure that women are entitled or are, are well, afforded the care they deserve. But I asked a very direct deserve. question, Mr. Secretary. Um, I think it's a yes or no. Does the president's budget request the Hyde Amendment? Well, the Hyde Amendment is something that Congress has added, and it's up to Congress to determine whether it will add the. So Hyde does the Amendment. president want the Hyde Amendment included in his in that budget request? The president's budget does everything possible to protect the reproductive health care rights of okay, all. Okay. Well, women. I'm going to take, Mr. Secretary, with all due respect, I'm going to take that as a no. Um, uh, and uh, and the Dornan Amendment, I'm assuming that's also a no, that that's not included in the language um, in the legislation either. And I don't know, um, I should uh, at some point find out for sure. I know we've been looking for language on the budget if we've gotten that, but I'm going to assume that neither of those are included and um, because you didn't answer with a yes or a no. But, um, you know, this, this really does leave Americans. This is something since 1977 that's been included on bipartisan, with bipartisan support. And it, it really does leave Americans vulnerable to being forced to pay for elective abortions. And even though the majority of Americans are opposed to tax dollars going towards abortion funding. And, but I, I, I understand that um, under this budget, the Democrats would rather appease their extremist base that wants federal funding for abortion on demand. Um, and I just say it will be very, very sad that the, that the left is forcing this onto, the, onto Americans. With that, I yield back. 